we're back on the roof. So we got a whole building that's uh, pretty warm right now. Uh, so we got a train and tell a pack. And we got to see why it's not cooling because it's about 80 degrees in that building and it's warm in there. I definitely felt it. So let's see what's going on. So here we go. Okay, so we are at the HIM, the human interface module. And it looks like we got an alarm. Uh, so we are occupied. Cooling is not running. So we're gonna hit diagnostics. All right, next. Okay, so we got a compressor trip circuit one. Compressor trip circuit two. All right. It looks like multiple times. So I had an emergency stop. So we have no cooling. So it's basically just circulating air. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna stop the unit. So we're gonna hit uh, stop. Okay, so we need to uh, open up this case to check. Uh, but if we flip this, it's gonna kill the power. So if you stick a little tiny screwdriver in there, you can bypass it so you can still open it uh, without killing the power. So we're gonna do that. We do have a couple of breakers tripped. That one's tripped and that one is tripped. So we need to reset these. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and try it. Uh, keep in mind, this is live. So I'm probably gonna kill the power. So anytime you kill the power on these things, just make sure you hit stop first. That way everything's actually off. Okay, unit is stopped. We no longer have the active alarm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna force it into cool mode. I wanna make sure all the circuits are running. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go service mode. Okay, that's gonna ask us what we want it to do. So we want the supply fan to be on. We want it to be at 100%. So we're gonna hit next. Okay, this doesn't apply to us, condenser fan. That's auto, so they'll turn on by themselves, or you can turn them on manually. Okay, so this is the compressor relays. So I'm gonna go through everywhere and make sure that the heat is off and the exhaust fans are off. So heat stage is off, exhaust damper, so outdoor amper, or outdoor uh, damper, 0%. We want the exhaust fan off, exhaust at 0%. And then when we put a change, we hit enter, and then we go next. Okay, I just want to make sure that the heater is not going to try to come on or something. Okay, cool. So we're going to go back to our compressor circuits. And there we go. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and hit start test. So the uh, fan, the blower is going to come on to 100%. So it's going to get a little noisy. So I don't know if you can hear that, but the blower is coming on. So I think this is the blower frequency. Yeah, so that's showing in Hertz. So the maximum is gonna be 60. So that's 100%. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn on the first stage of compressors, uh, the, the first bank, because I think there's like six of them. So we hit plus for on, and then we hit enter. We're gonna do this one at a time. Okay, so it turned on. I don't see any breakers that flip. All right, so we're gonna go ahead to the next one. So we're gonna hit next. There we are. We're gonna go ahead and plus and enter. Okay, so there's our, there's our problem. Okay, so we need to reset our unit um, because I believe that it when it tripped that breaker, it locked out our whole system. So what's basically what's been happening is that thing will trip and it it locks out the whole system so then the system just starts circulating uh, so what we need to do is have that breaker to the on position uh, disconnect that compressor and then it should just continue on um, until we can get the compressor replaced uh, so we're going to go ahead and try this again we're going to go into service mode um, all right i'm going to go ahead and put start test and then we're gonna try to kick that compressor back on and see what the amp draws look like, just uh, cause it sounds like it's starting cause it makes a nasty noise. So we'll see. And we're gonna hit service mode so we can get ready. We're just gonna keep hitting next till we get to our compressor circuits. There they are. And 
we're just gonna wait till our uh, blower motor ramps up all the way. Now I've already checked the filters. Uh, filters are clean. We actually just uh, replaced them recently. So I need to energize K11 in order to energize K12, which is our issue. Okay, so we're at 60 hertz, so we're going to go ahead and hit enter because I already said it's on. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and hit our problem child. So as you can hear, it, it killed all the compressors. So basically it's it's an energized a lockout relay. So it's locked out the entire compressor bank. So now we know for sure that's what's going on, but look at that, it's pulling 189.2 amps. So we definitely got an issue with that compressor. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop. That's gonna stop our test. Okay, so this is our compressor here. Uh, one of the things is, is I'm thinking it's locked up because it does start up and then it pulls you know, 190, the locked rotor amps on this is 178 amps. So I'm thinking it's a locked rotor. I don't think it's uh, burnt or, or grounded or anything. So what we're gonna try to do is, this is a three phase compressor. Um, so if you were to have these phases set up wrong, the compressor will spin backwards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap these two wires and I'm gonna make it spin backwards and then I'll flip them back to the way they were. Uh, just to see if we can free up that compressor. It's very rare that that actually works, but sometimes it does. So, you know, it might buy us some time until we have to change that compressor uh, and get them up and running. Uh, now, if that doesn't work, then we'll stick with our original plan where we basically just remove uh, the compressor from the circuit. That way the system won't lock out and it'll just keep going. Uh, and then we can check those that other circuit because this one was tripped too. So we got to see what's going on with that. And if that's the case, we'll tr uh, depending if it's locked up, we'll try... Uh, the reversing of the um, phases and uh, if that doesn't work we'll take it out of the circuit and go from there until we can replace the compressor or compressors so anyway uh, i'm going to switch these up and see what happens so here we go okay so i got them switched and as you can see i marked them that way if we do take it out of the circuit we'll and when we replace the compressor we'll know where the wires go um, so always mark them but as you can see this was one this is three and that's two so it was one two three so i swapped these two so that should get our compressor to spin backwards uh, when that happens it sounds terrible so we're gonna only do it for a little while uh, more than likely if this didn't work it's gonna pop that breaker again so we'll give it a shot and we're gonna put our amp clamp on there again just to see what it's doing so yep okay so we're gonna go ahead and cr crank on the power Oh uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we gotta wait for this thing to reset. Ugh. Alrighty, and then we're gonna go into test mode and we're gonna go through our circuits. And uh, when we go into that K12 circuit, it's gonna sound terrible. Um, so we're gonna go service mode. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and hit test start. It's gonna count down to three and then our blower will come on. All right, and then we're gonna hit service mode again so we can get ready to turn on our compressors. Okay. So. So I hit stop. So yeah, I forgot to turn off the circuit last time, so that's why the compressors came on right away. But. The good news is, is that compressor stayed running. So we may have freed it up. And my meter is act, oh, the battery's low. Ah, man. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and kill power and we're gonna flip our wires back. And then uh, we'll go from there, see what happens. Okay, so we got our wires switched. We got one, two, and three, to match in one, two, and three. Flipping our breaker on, we're gonna bring the power back on and try this again. All right, I'm gonna turn the first one on. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna try the next one. Fingers crossed. Well, looks like it worked. Still sounds terrible. 
now I'm gonna go see if I can find out which one it is. Uh, yeah, so reversing the polarity of it. Yeah, it's this guy right here. All right, so we're gonna keep going because we remember we had two breakers that were tripped. Uh, so we're gonna go to the next. See what happens there. Okay, so far so good. Now we're gonna last try our last one. There we go. All right, we appear to be good. So it's hot, that, it's super hot inside. We're gonna let it run for a little while and see if anything happens. But so far our amp draws are looking okay. Averaging about 21. So yeah, our RLA for this is 27.3. So yeah, we're gonna let it run for a little while and see what happens. But so far so good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start turning off the circuits one at a time. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and hit stop going to do now is we're going to let it boot up so it's going to do its thing now there are some intellipacks that actually don't have this which it's a pain in the butt when that happens <laughs> but thankfully we have one uh, we're going to go to diagnostics so no we have no active we want to check our history so we're going to hit next so there's our history we want to clear that that way if this happens again it'll show up there so if you look here it tells you everything so what we're going to do is we're going to hit cancel and it's going to ask us for a password, so we want to clear our, our diagnostic log, so it's going to be minus, plus, plus, minus. So minus, plus, plus, minus, enter, and it's going to do its thing, and then it's going to reboot. And now if we look through there, you can see there's nothing. It's blank, right? So if we go into diagnostics, we got nothing. So that's how we want it. That way if something happens, we know that it's new and it's not old. Uh, so now that we, we're out of that, uh, we're ready to go ahead and put the unit back on. So we're going to just hit the auto button and it's going to reboot. All right, so it is now back on auto and it's going to give it a second. It's going to be collecting data from all the VAVs, all the temperatures and whatnot. Uh, then usually it'll turn on supply fan and then it'll start doing whatever it needs to do. So we're going to make sure that it turns on uh, before we go and then we'll go from there. Okay, so... She's running in cooling stage three. So far, so good. Everything has been good so far. And it's not in test mode. I have it on normal mode. So it's just going based on the thermostat set points. Uh, so we're in status mode right now. Uh, so we're gonna hit next. And we wanna take a look at some of the temperatures. So I'm gonna keep going. I want temperatures. So there's temperature inputs, uh, uh, status sub menu. I'm gonna hit enter. Here's my supply air temperature, so 54 degrees, so it's looking good. So I think we're good to go. Um, we're gonna make a note of that compressor because obviously it's probably something wrong with it. It sounds terrible, uh, so it might lock up again, but at least we got them up and running for now. So anyway, hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.